GMT Digital Asset, who joins us from Chicago land. Uh, Colleen, welcome. Hi, thank you for having me. Oh, we're so excited. I'm particularly so excited. So first off, tell us what CMT Digital does and how did you start it? Sure, so CMT Digital is a subsidiary of the CMT Group, which is a 22-year-old proprietary trading and investments firm. Uh, we're headquartered in Chicago, about 100 people. Uh, we also have two offices in London and one in Frankfurt. We started in the crypto space in 2013. Um, started primarily from a legal and regulatory standpoint. Um, I'm a securities attorney by background, and I thought this concept of a digital instrument that could democratize money could have some interesting um, ripple effects on our global legal system, and it really, that was the genesis of CMT Digital. So we got involved in quite a few discussions at the state and federal level um, regarding how crypto should or should not be regulated. That then turned into the firm investing in Bitcoin January 2016. We launched a full crypto trading desk January 2017, and then we started investing in the space um, in the fall of 2017. So we now have 14 portfolio companies, um, including groups like Bact, Aris, Seed, Templum, Abra, Silvergate Bank, Circle, um, and a few more. Oh my gosh, 14. That's, that's, Colleen, that's incredible. I mean, congratulations. And I'm sure they're not all uh, gangbuster hits. Uh, you gotta, you know, you gotta <laughs> diversify, but that's fantastic. So given all the fluctuation in the price of cryptos, especially Bitcoin, and it, it's still down, you know, year over year, of course, but up about a hundred bucks uh, so far th this year. Are some people sort of missing the forest through the trees here that, that they aren't seeing all the other places like you have uh, that, to invest in crypto and blockchain? Yeah, I mean, you know, while the firm maintains our long Bitcoin position, um, I do think that most of the value we'll eventually see will be from the venture investing. Um, our thesis is pretty much to invest where we see gaps in infrastructure coupled with where we can be strategic. Um, I think a good example of this is the crypto trading space. So in our view, the first real proven blockchain use case is crypto trading. So we've got billions of dollars worth of crypto assets moving and settling across various blockchains daily. Um, and, you know, we, um, the, given the way that these centralized crypto exchanges kind of organically grew, they look very different than our traditional market. So most crypto exchanges are the exchange, the custodian, the liquidity provider, um, the clearing firm and the broker all in one. Um, and so, you know, we see that those functions are going to have to probably break apart um, in the future. We also see that you're missing the whole suite of prime services. So, you know, in the traditional space where, you know, we, our counterparty is not the New York Stock Exchange or NASDAQ, it's our prime broker. And so our counterparty risk is to that one prime broker. And that prime is also looking at our positions on an aggregate basis and providing us financing. There's nothing like that in the crypto space. So we have direct counterparty risk to, you know, there's, there's upwards of 200 different crypto exchanges. Most of them are offshore and most of them are unregulated. Um, so there's a tremendous amount of risk there. So we see that gap where you need prime services that would include mature borrow lending facilities, mature custo uh, custodians, um, mature trading tools, analytics, research, um, and we've invested in all those spaces. Um, I will add that we don't think it makes sense to just copy and paste existing um, traditional market infrastructure into the crypto markets. Mm -hmm. um, we think that you can actually use blockchain technology to help make these markets more efficient um, and transparent. Yeah, so right, you can use, yeah, identity. Yeah, yeah um, we're going to we're gonna like leave it there. I'm contacts. so sorry because we could talk for awesome. another <laughs> so she was going too long. But to wrap this up, I do believe she is right where uh, if you do look in the uh, major investments, there are coins like uh, I believe Binance has a coin. Gemini has a coin. So investing in these brokerages might be a good idea because they already have profitability and they already have the infrastructure. Another thing that she mentioned is the fact that these exchanges are for the most part unregulated. And if you've been following this channel, there are plenty of exchanges that uh, have had stories of being hacked, whether it was from the inside or the outside. So my advice to all crypto investors is do not have your assets on just one exchange or one wallet. Diversify. Uh, be like uh, a pirate like Blackbeard. And uh, instead of having all your assets in one wallet, bury your treasure in five or six or seven 
different locations or wallet to protect yourself. But let me know your thoughts on this and I will talk to you soon.